Good morning, welcome back to another video. It's a rainy, rainy day, but we are determined. We got the new injectors back today. Yesterday we gave them in, and today they're already back. He replaced three of the injectors. One of them he said was already changed by the previous ones, I guess. One was new, so he just replaced three of them. Three of them are fully not working, so fully not spraying at all, just leaking a bit. One of them fully clogged up, not even leaking. So we changed that, and that means we can finally finally get the truck to run. I don't know how it ran before without injectors working properly. This thing must be a, quite a beast to be able to run with fuel not spraying correctly. So now that it's gonna spray correctly, it should run like a beauty. Yeah, no excuses. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Frankenstein. Yeah, I think we came up with, if it works, he's it's gonna be Frankenstein. It's a Frankenstein because of the mixed match color. Yes. It looks really cool. And it also looks really like Frankenstein. very old school, so. <laughs> Let's get this hood off. We'll get it fully off or just a bit off. My screw broke that I welded. I'm just gonna leave it like that because I think it's gonna keep some of the oil out. Anyways, the oil in there is not like at high pressure, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Should be okay. So we're gonna try to start it now. The new injectors are in. So hopefully they will, they need to kind of de-air themselves. I don't know if they need filling up because I, I didn't really ask him if they, because you need to de-air those as well because they have air, but the fuel should come with the pressure from the fuel pump and should just blow the air into the chambers and hopefully after a while the fuel will just be coming out. Let's try to see if we can start it up. This should be it. What else do you want? What is What's no wrong? Good? What else is no good? Why are you stopping? It did like two fireworks. I don't know why. It's alive! <laughs> Finally! Okay, well, we turn it off because David wants to put on the exhaust. The and new steering one. wheel is off. So. Oh yeah, and steering wheel. Oh, and the hydraulics is off. Everything is off. Let's get it going. I hope it goes again. Yes, let's hope so. You better go again.
is it not going? Baba, you promised. Right? What happened? Oh no. Because it's like uh, changing the power and it's not doing much. What is wrong with you? It seems to be the problem since we got it. That's not new. We have that problem like since the start, it's just not going away. So it seems like this knocking problem that we've been having since day one when we started it is still here, so something that we still originally have not fixed that is the original problem. Yeah, we didn't know. It seems like our hydraulic pump, which pumps the oil for the hydraulics to lift things, is broken, because so, as soon as we tried to use the hydraulics, we lifted up the bucket, and last it time. stopped working, it's just like, the, like, stopped, basically, like, fully, like, tried to, like, die off. And if you check the oil, it's twice as much as it should be in there at Yes, max. and we had it leaked out. We, we yeah, we it. already had it like three times over than what it should be. We leaked all the oil out and it went you know, it's mark. like to the full and how? how did it come back up? It's like impossible. So it must be because we did pump out the hydraulics from the pistons in the back. It sucked them in for, for us to lift the bucket and it went, instead of going to the hydraulic tank which stores the oil, it went into our engine because there is a valve in between them and that valve probably is broken so we just need a new hydraulic pump it should be pretty cheap and should be pretty easy it also gives us an opportunity to take off the and change the oil inside this which is an oil based air filter we're going to change all that because it's in front we need to take it off anyway so we can fix that change also the filter we have for it and that should be it and that should be it. this is i think our original problem that we if we solve the first days because of course we didn't know this if we solve this probably the first days it would have been running as it was it's just we changed a lot of extra things that I mean were they were already broken, broken. Yeah, but they would have worked. That's why but maybe it's better that way that we change a lot of things Yeah, we so made it we pretty wouldn't... much like bulletproof for now <laughs> to run for a long time I think it's just a hydraulic pump because as soon as I touch the hydraulic yeah, levers, that was last time as well It stopped working last time 30 minutes. We're driving. No problem as soon as we wanted to lift the yeah, hydraulics We had the hydraulics. It just it just stopped. died off and we couldn't start it and had this like knocking noise like it's hitting something and I think that is because the piston is going up and when it goes down where it's supposed to be empty space and maybe oil at the very bottom where it picks up barely any oil to smoosh around it goes fully f like you know full power with those high rpms it goes into the oil and it like you know when water when you hit water at really high speed it's like concrete so that's the knocking noise i'm pretty sure i don't think it's any metal knocking yeah. against metal because that would have broken a long time and it wouldn't even start so this is when it knocks into the oil with full power becomes it becomes like super liquidy once it's hot uh, when you start it when it warms up it's still like really flowy and it's everywhere it goes but when it gets uh, liquidy it's like super uh, flat like water yeah. so that, i think that's the problem we'll it learn as we go sense. <laughs> by <laughs> thinking through it makes sense yeah so let's try to repair that that should be 50 euros 55 euros i think and if we want a more beefier i think it's like 80 euros for a more powerful one do you deserve a more beefy one I think 50 euro one, I, I think they added the 30 euro one, really small one, but that could be the same size because I think the 50 euro one's a bit bigger. That should be enough. We're gonna get one and replace it and I hope that that should be it. Yeah, I mean there's not many more things that need replacing. No, I don't think anything else can break. Like anything else is broken. Fuel system's working, injectors are now working, which were broken. So first time it we was run good, it, yeah, was no. running with bad injectors, now it's running with good injectors. So it should work really slowly, good. Slowly. The only problem was the fuel, the hydraulic, and as soon as we used it, it broke. That's pretty much it. Okay, well, this Hope video ended. Tractor should be <laughs> running soon. I know it's been a long uh, fight, but see you later. Okay, okay well.